things, I, my job's a... Uh, I'm like a box of prunes. I'm gonna keep things moving tonight. <laughs> we got some great comedians out here, but you know, I'm gonna... <laughs> it's dark in here. I don't even know where the bullet's coming from. <laughs> Before the other guys come out, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit. I am uh, recently remarried. Poor guy, alright. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, I, I wouldn't even applaud for that. Getting remarried is like breaking back into jail. <laughs> that's why I, that's why I don't stay in gay marriage. I don't, I, I don't know what you're thinking. Like three out of four marriages go right down the tube, right? That's the club I want to get into. You ever see a gay parade? Everybody is all happy, arm in arm, half naked, waving to the crowd. Anybody ever here see a married couple parade? Oh, <laughs> what a depressing funeral tours that would be, right? People just dragging their asses down the street. I told you it's gonna suck, it's your fault. <laughs> and we gotta get the babysitter right too. Come on. Yeah, you might want to reconsider that one. But I did get remarried, you know, and I still get in trouble with her. My wife said I brought home the wrong dog food. He doesn't like the taste. I think that's kind of odd because an hour before I went to get the dog food, he had his head in a cat litter box. <laughs> and he's eating about a two and a half inch cat turn. <laughs> About a half hour before that, he's laying on the carpet, he's got his leg up, and he's licking his nuts. <laughs> but the Yukonuma chicken and rice simmered in beef broth? Oh, he doesn't like the taste of that. <laughs> I got him. Next time I'm going to buy him a cat shit dog bowl flavored food. <laughs> I know, we, we just got this dog, and my wife had been trying for, for months to get this dog to roll over. Can't get him to roll over. So she went shopping one night, and she goes, you know, she goes out and I have the dog and I get this dog to roll over six times in three seconds. All right, I hit him with my pickup truck. <laughs> okay? She should thank me. She gets the truck keys, just rattles him. The guy drops, talks and rolls like he's on fire. I don't get, I don't, I don't understand making a dog do tricks. Why, why do they have to do tricks? How many people here uh, train their dog like to give them their, their paw, shake hands? Anybody do that? What the hell you do that for? What do you think? Someday the, the dog's going to be in a receiving line of a wedding reception? <laughs> what the hell is that about? Christ. Boy, winter sucks in upstate New York, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, Christ. We're almost out of it. You know, and we prepare for it. We have to prepare for it up here. You know, I got a, you know, a four-wheel drive vehicle. I get the good snow tires. I even buy those wipers. You know those special wipers that aren't supposed to ice up? What a crock of shit they are. <laughs> Right halfway into the first storm, you're there, and it's going back and forth, and all of a sudden it's a little ice ball start. Right? Five minutes later, all you see, then the smear. It's just one smear. And there's one stripe you can see through. Right? You think the stripe's up here? No, the fucking stripe's down here, right? Right over the dashboard. It's not drawing like this. Right? And then it starts closing on you. It starts closing. It starts closing. But from upstate New York, that, nah, right? Bunch of red, we don't give a shit, right? We're from the country. What do we do? Roll the window down, stick your arm out, put your thumb out, and it's our time to wait like this. And snap it. Right? Snap it. And you never get it the first time, right? And, it, and of course, it's 45 degrees below zero out there, see? You get about 30 seconds. Other than that, you're just holding a stump out there. at the window and the ice all breaks and then some son of a bitch comes flying down on the left. Put shit all over your window again. <laughs> Bastards. I like to see them right down here. Right the center console. Right the throughway. Right to the bottom. Oh, I hate winter. I'll tell you. Hey, you know, the other part I don't like is I like to ride my Harley. I'm a biker. And my wife loves to ride my motorcycle. She really does. But the trouble is when she gets on my bike, she, she likes to wear shorts. No, I don't like her wearing shorts on my motorcycle. It's not that my wife doesn't look good in shorts. My wife looks great in shorts. But when she's on the back of my motorcycle and I get going over 60 miles an hour, her pussy whistles. And it's your wife. It drives me freaking nuts. I'm all over the road. I hear the sound. Now my brother, I, I don't like my brother, I'll be honest with you, but he's got a room down there. 
right? My brother is a biochemist, and I'm not. <laughs> and he picks me up in this big issue, one of these big long things, and I, and I ask, what do you need something that big and long for? He says, well, Lee, uh, Brenda and I feel that the children need ample room in the back to conduct their activities. What activities do they do back? What, do they shoot archery? <laughs> what happened to the activities we all had as a kid, remember? You sit in the back and shut the fuck up. <laughs> My father was old school. When it was well like this, we'd go down the road. All the windows are all rolled up, and my father's chain smoking. Lucky nine. <laughs> The only fight my brother I did, and I did in the back of that car was when we were fighting for oxygen. <laughs> and when he wasn't looking, okay, we cracked the window a little bit and get a breath of fresh air. <laughs> and we hold it. My brother could hold his breath a lot longer than I could. That's why he's a biochemist and I'm in the moose lodge here in Canada. <laughs> TV show is the, the doctors. You ever see the doctors? It's on during the day. All right, well, okay, so we have. Well, let me explain. There's three doctors and they talk about problems in the medical field. Well, they were talking about women's <coughs> issues and things that they do to enhance their appearance. Oh, okay. So I'm listening there and I'm, I'm sitting there and they're talking about breast implants, you know, breast augmentation. All right, I can see that, right? Some women feel like they're, they they got short change. So they want those ones that have fine gravity, just hang right out there, right? <laughs> me, personally, I'll take a good set of floppies. <laughs> All right? Give me a set of floppies, something I can work with. <laughs> and you know, I think I see a few sets out here, actually. <laughs> Sometimes I mess with her. I go over and I make balloon animals out of her. She wakes up, she's all messed up. And then the one that really surprised me, and it, it's called labia reconstructive surgery. Has anybody heard of that? Okay, see, I'm not lying. He, he's heard about it. No, I'm, I'm serious. What it is that women feel that their vaginas don't look pretty enough, so they go to plastic surgeons and they get the lips trimmed up. Now, I'm a baby boomer. I'm from an older generation. I want to know, who the fuck tells a woman she has a bad-looking vagina? Hey, how do you mind? If I'm within 25 yards of a good-looking vagina, I'm not going to say a word. These young guys, what are they? What they, they spend all this money to, to, to get them out of a bar back to a room. They got their pants down around their legs and they're looking like, geez, you know, honey, you, you, you look beautiful tonight. <laughs> but that pussy's pretty ugly. You like to suck on about my 13. <laughs> and then the one, this last the commercial that I really, could, it's, it's male enhancement. Boy, they keep pounding away on us guys. Men, do you feel inadequate? Are you not satisfying your woman? Is your penis too small? Just once, just once I want to hear. Ladies, is your vagina too big? <laughs> Satisfied, at least I didn't get close to hitting anything in there. <laughs> when your lover goes down on you, did they hear the ocean? <laughs> you feel like your vagina's a liberty bell and his penis is the clapper? <laughs> He's got to rip his hips back and forth, jazz, to get a little sound out of you. I sent away from the product, it was the clapper. Remember the clapper? Clap on, clap off. Lights are activated by two things slapping together. Don't get ahead, Don't get ahead of me over there. Well, the genius that I am, I installed them all over the bedroom.
him. I was like making love to a fucking strobe light. There were so many light flashes. I, I thought the paparazzi came through the door. I didn't know if my wife was having an orgasm or an epileptic seizure. Hey, you guys are a great audience. You ready for your next comedian?